Hello YouTube. Hello YouTube, welcome to the channel that brings you the most comprehensive mountain bike trail previews. Uh, left Auckland last night down to National Park, four and a half hour drive to the Central Plateau, uh, meeting up with Mucker and Co. Uh, people unknown, but we'll meet those, meet them soon. And um, we're going to do the 42nd, 42nd traverse. So we'll go, uh, we'll go find Mucker. Mucker. Whoa, she's a bit bright out here this morning. <laughs> there you go, buddy. Oh, thank you. Um, so yeah, I was just telling them we're doing the 42nd traverse. Do you want to tell us how long, how hard? How far? Um, I'm not entirely sure, but um, I think it's about 46, 46 k's. Um, apparently it's going to be real muddy out there today, so we're yeah. going to have a bit of a blast, I think. Sweet. Yeah, we're getting a, um, a guy's picking us up from um, Schnapps in National Park and dropping us to the start, and then, uh, oh no, he's following us to the finish, which is at Ofongo, dropping our cars at Ofongo, and then he's going to take us to the start so we can pick up our cars and take our time or, or whatever and then go to the pub afterwards hopefully. Awesome. Mm. Sweet, we'll get into it. The track curves around to the right at the pumice pit there. Um, you've got a couple of stream crossings today but nothing nothing too significant. Normally they're around about mid, mid calf, maximum up to about your knee um, given the current weather. You're going to get to Dominion Road, that's got mobile phone reception as has that um, just that you know. So this is pretty much a dead spot in the middle. Um, then once you get to this big bridge, it's a big structure here, you've got that last uh, climb out to Ofongo. So in terms of signage, it's pretty well marked. There's a few places that are a little bit ambiguous. So the rule of thumb is sort of follow the well ridden trail. And then if you don't see a marker within kind of 10 to 20 metres, come back and just reassess it but generally it's pretty straightforward and then um, once you're out and back to mobile phone coverage if one of you can just flick me a text to let me know you're out that's all good and uh, yeah other than that you should have a good day it is the raw so um, there will be some hunters out there likely as well so just be mindful of that <laughs> Ghost water as well. Quarters. <clears throat> oh, dude, Why set me up.
That was a fun bit. Yeah, Fuck yeah. Was a motorbike. <laughs> <laughs> Stupid idea was this. Oh, fuck. dude! <laughs> Rio, are you? Don't follow Theo. <laughs> you let me into the we thick of it, brother. <laughs> Good pace down there. Stayed on your bike, I'll never know. <laughs> your back wheel was just. Yeah, I, was, I, was, I felt my back wheel sliding. Did you have your seat down? Yeah, oh no. Oh. Yeah, downhill go. Just shove yeah. it down. You haven't even got any mud on you. I think so. Oh. Oh. Oh, oh do it, son. Oh, Dad. Good effort. Oh, shit. <laughs> Is it on? It is both brakes going down here. Why do I put a bit of it? Yeah, boy! Oh! Just got to send it, Kate. It gets seriously deep there. <laughs> Next. Yeah. Go, 
Go. Uh, what have we got now? Real steep. Uh, not into real steep. If I'm going up it. Oh no way! <laughs> Look at that. Uh oh. <laughs> it's a handy uh, bike stand, isn't it? Yeah. You're winning. I don't know, I've only just started looking at it. Oh. traction in this mud. Oh. <laughs> oh you didn't pedal up? Too steep for me mate. No problem eh? No problem. Yeah mate! Should we be going that way? 40-second traverse has been one of the most popular mountain bike rides in the North Island for years. It's a great day's adventure crossing the Tongariro Forest from the tussock deserts of the Tongariro National Park and finishing at the village of Ofongo. The trail follows an old logging road through very remote, rugged land. Great for intermediate riders and above, this epic mountain bike trail is a mix of grades 2 through 4, but mostly grade 3. The 40 second traverse has some stream crossings and steeper sections that classify as grade 4. Best to ride the 40 second traverse from the south end at the junction of Kapoor's Road and State Highway 47, 18 k's from National Park Village towards Turangi. Ofongo has a lower elevation so making that your end point makes for a ride with more downhill overall. Be aware it is a two way trail and it is used by quads and four wheel drives as well. Allow 4-7 to seven hours for the trip depending on your group's fitness and experience. There is a longer trail narrative in the video description below. For getting to and from the trail, you could try Richard at My Kiwi Adventure or Ted and Erin at Tread Roots. All their contact details are in the description below. Please be aware mobile coverage is very limited on this trail and the weather can be changeable. Pick your day and pack first aid gear, warm clothes, food and bike repair equipment. We take an EPIRB on these more remote trips as well, just in case. Our aim is to continually improve these videos, so your thoughts in the comments below are always welcome. A lot of the gear we use bike and camera wise are listed below with links. If you're looking to purchase gear and want to support our channel, please use those affiliate links. From Mucka and Mucka, enjoy. Yeah buddy. So there you have it, the uh, 40 second traverse, bit of an all day event really. Yeah, 40... 42 k's, you reckon? No, more. Oh. Um, yeah, it came up more, maybe 46, 47, I yeah. think, on, on my, uh, my GPS thing. I think it was sort of three hours riding time again, was it? But a, but a much longer day. Yeah, a longer day. We, we had a few stops. I had I had thought it was going to be more of a mountain bike trail, um, but it was a four-wheel drive track right through, but once I realised that and embraced it, I actually really liked that it was a track and you could kind of pass each other and 
Um, you went all just following each other? Yeah, no, it was good. The, f- the first half, predominantly um, downhill. Yep. Yeah, and, and there's some all-time downhills. Like yeah, massive. A couple of downhills that really stood out in my mind that were just all, all, <laughs> all, all, all guns blazing, man. Yeah. It was awesome. Yeah, pretty pretty scary because you are in the middle of nowhere out there. Yeah. Do we have the e on there? Right? Yeah. But thanks for watching. Um, if you're thinking of doing it yourself or you have done it, write, write some comments below. It's an all-time uh, classic ride around these parts, that's for sure. Yep, a central North Island must do. Uh, we used uh, Richard for our transport in a national park, didn't we? You know, the, the beginning and the end are a long way from each other. You've got to pre-arrange your, your cars somehow, whether you do that with friends or um, through Richard and National Park, um, or, of course, you've always got tree roots. Yeah, they go out there. Yeah. Yep. They're, they're a good bunch of people. I can highly recommend them. So, yeah, if you've got any value out of this, Tell us about it in the comments. Um, share the video with your friends. Get them inspired and get out and do it. I wouldn't do it later than April though. No, nah, like, it was like pretty it was, slick. <laughs> it was pretty slick. It was, it was, yeah, it was muddy in patches, but um, totally doable. So yeah, summer months ride really. Yeah. Give us a thumbs up and check out our other other videos, other trail reviews. Thank you. Cool man. Sell. 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 Sell, buddy. Yeah, buddy. Sell. <laughs>